0.96. Hey guys, Sarge here. What we're going to be talking about is the McKinetec uh, Defender Appendix Rig. This has been a holster I've been using for about a year now. Um, so I've had a year's worth of reviewing it, running it through classes, using it through my own shooting drills. I have also taken this holster on a lot of extended car rides. Uh, the longest one being a 14 hour straight drive with this pistol and holster on, not taking it off for this whole 14 hours. This is a unbelievably comfortable holster and this is a great way to carry your pistol. Um, I will say for me, if I am um, sitting down a lot or you know in a vehicle, something to that effect, I will run appendix. Um, it's just faster for me to get to, but we'll get into that in another one. You can carry how you want to carry. I'll carry how I want to carry. Okay. Um, so as you're about to see, I will do a tabletop with this pistol, just kind of showing you the ins and outs of it, uh, some of the edges, things of that nature. But I'm also going to show you me standing up while wearing this holster and then me sitting down while wearing this holster. And I think that's a lot of missing pieces on some holster reviews that are out there. Um, the pistol being used is my Glock 26 Gen 5. I will also include some shooting videos where I am shooting this 100% stock Gen 5 Glock 26 at 100, 85, and 50 yards. Okay, now, am I ever really going to have to do that in real life? No, right? Um, I will say too, with the uh, Glock 26 at 100 yards, when it was me and my buddy who makes these Angel Dynamic Knives, okay, he was filming me for those. Um, he, uh, he said, man, I don't think you'll be able to do it on your first shot. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I will either. We went out to a hundred yards and my first shot, I hit it. I hit the silhouette target that we have out there at a hundred. Uh, that's why at the end of the video, I turn around and I'm like, oh yeah, I did that. Um, and then I, you know, I, I did miss a couple to hit it again, but the first shot was there. So pretty cool with that guys. Any pistol can be accurate if you use it correctly. Um, so, but Back to the holster guys, stay tuned for it. It'll be kind of chopped up a little bit. We'll see how you guys like it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this at the end and we'll, we'll give our final thoughts. So let's go over to the next part. Guys, so here is the appendix holster uh, from McKinetech. As you guys can see with this, right, it, it actually supports itself pretty well. I'm showing you guys this without the belt on. If I did have a belt on, it would just go over these ulti clips. Um, so very nice design. The one reason why I really like this is for situations where maybe I do have to tuck my shirt in. I can tuck my shirt in behind the ulti clips and then my belt goes over and it looks just like normal. Okay, so that is something to think about as well. Um, but the it the ulti clips hold the holster properly disperses the weight right so very nice guys and as you guys can see from drawing there are absolutely no issues with that whatsoever um so really great design let's go to the next part Hey guys, Sarge here. Uh, here again with McKinetech uh, holster uh, in the appendix, right? Um, what I want to show you guys is making sure that if you guys are running an appendix holster and if your appendix holster can't do this, trash it and just get a McKinetech because you're not going to have any issues with that. Um, it, it's it's going over your movement, right? Your holster should not limit your mobility. And a lot of times that is what happens. Um, and you, you can see it. With guys that carry at the 3 to 4.30 position, um, if they have to bend over to pick something up, they're kind of bending over a little weirder because they don't want their pistol grip to print and everybody, everybody sees their gun, right? Because that's what they think. Um, nobody sees it if you don't tell them it's there. But um, so with that, there's a big portion when it comes to appendix carry of some holsters are not made correctly. 
Uh, so yes, they're marketed as appendix holsters. Yeah, they could be from a really nice company, but they're not made correctly. And if you can't bend over or you can't do normal movements throughout your day with your holster on, you need to get a better holster, guys. So with this McKenna Tech holster, as you guys can see, I'm sitting down. If I were to bend over to tie my shoes or to pick something off, off the ground, it's good to go. Um, I wore this holster for a 14 hour car ride uh, and didn't take it off once, didn't have an issue with it once. Okay, so this is a very comfortable holster, no issues with it, and it doesn't limit my mobility. So for me, that's some of the stuff I look for when it comes to an appendix holster. Stay tuned guys, we'll go to the next part. Hey guys, Sarge here. Um, so as you all just saw, I did some shooting portions of it and then also I did the standing and sitting down with this holster. If you just look at the blended edges here guys, it, quality craftsmanship is, does not say it enough. Okay, the, He really takes the time at McKenna Tech to ensure that the holsters are made to the correct standard. Um, I have tested a lot of holsters, I've tried a lot of holsters, I've seen a lot of holsters come through my courses, and I will tell you 100% without a shadow of a doubt, if you go with a McKenna Tech, you are not wrong, okay? Um, they are my preferred Kydex holster company, and one of the tests that you should do with all your Kydex, or any holster really, uh, but with your Kydex holsters, if your gun doesn't do well to this, if it falls out from doing this, you need to get a better holster. Your holster is not is not worth your time, okay? Um, and I've seen a lot of holsters fail that simple test. I've also had holsters while in classes where I've been shooting off the ground or things like that. The pistols come out due to the holster not being quality craftsmanship. Uh, so just buy quality and you won't have to buy another one later on. What I also like about this, guys, um, so this comes with two clips on it. Nothing is wrong with the clips that he uses. He uses really nice clips. I just like ulti clips because I can put them on basketball shorts. I can put them, you know, obviously as you guys saw, underneath a belt. So if I want to tuck my shirt in and have the belt over it so no one sees anything, that's why I run ulti clips, okay? Um, so if you guys have never heard of them or anything, they, they are very nice. And they'll go on most holsters that have the, um, the screws at the bottom of the holster itself. So very nice holster. I like having my magazine, especially if I'm already going to run appendix anyway, up in the front because now that it, that lightens up pocket room, right? Um, so it's something to think about. I'll always carry an extra magazine. And in this situation, now I can carry two. And for you guys that are saying, oh, you, that's too much whatever. Okay, I'm not saying that I need 45 or 30 rounds of ammunition. But what if I have a malfunction? All malfunctions don't happen, right? Okay, cool. So... Very nice holster. Uh, I've been using it with my Glock 26 Gen 5. And this thing is a fantastic pistol. If you guys have not had the chance to go and shoot one yet, I highly recommend it. When I first bought the Glock 26, I was not sure because uh, this was the smallest pistol I'd had. Okay, so I was like, I don't know if that's going to be too small. This thing shoots the exact same as my Glock 19. Um, so it's a very nice pistol, guys. I highly recommend it. I've shot it quite a bit, um, as you guys just saw. Okay, so you can definitely shoot at further distances without an issue as long as you apply proper fundamentals. Okay, so there you go with that. And this is 100% stock. I didn't add anything to it. Um, so, highly recommend these holsters as I've talked about over and over and over. Um, buy quality, you won't have to buy anything else again. McKenna Tech is doing a 15% off code, Sarge. Okay, it's just a way to give back to you guys. So very, very happy he's doing that. Um, awesome company. This is my preferred Kydex company as well. So check them out, guys. If you don't carry appendix, that's fine. I'm not telling you how to carry. Why would you tell me how to carry? Carry however you want. For me, carrying appendix makes the most sense. Um, if you're at a job where you're driving a lot, if you're at a job where you are sitting down a lot, if you're at a job where you know, one of those apply, appendix carry might be something you want to look into. Um, I, I think we, we all know that when someone reaches at that 3 to 4, 30 position, most gun people think, oh, okay, he's reaching for his gun. Uh, whereas appendix has been proven 
um, to, to be a little bit quicker in some of those situations, especially in a car. Uh, if I have my seatbelt on, it might take me a little bit longer to get my pistol out at 3 or 3.30 than it would at the appendix position. Just something to think about, right? And then I'm not saying that as an absolute. You could be 100% faster than me at 3 or 3.30 inside of a car. Cool. I just know I'm faster than the appendix inside of a vehicle uh, situation. So things to think about, guys. Let me know what you think about it. And please go and support McKenna Tech. You can find them on Instagram at McKenna Tech Holsters. Go and show them some support. They are an awesome company that really makes a great product. As always, stay tuned for more. Sarge out.